So Phil, tell me about yourself. How long have you lived on Maui? And what brought you to Maui? I did a vision quest in Arizona and started chanting Hana, which became Hana. And came here and checked it out. Moved here after about a year of rearranging my life. What is a vision quest? Looking for answers on your soul path, your life quest, your path through life. Asking the divine in whatever form you call upon it. Often in nature, a place where you won't be distracted or pulled, pulled aside by other people or thoughts or desire. Hi, Peter. <laughs> Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi. Uh, how are it's because I've been hanging out with Peter. Oh, that's sweet. Hello, hi. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Would you like a song? We'd love a song. This is my friend Carrie. This Carrie. Is Phil. Good to know you, brother. I'm Phil. Good to know you, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> so, here. Guide us, great spirit, for the good of all, with harm to none. And with your guidance, protection, and direction, thank you for bringing these noble souls together.
So after this vision quest, when you were drawn to come to Maui, do you feel like you found what you were looking for? It was like slide overlay deja vu to come here. Um, I was home again. I was back in what I call the Malia. My Lemurian dreams were remembered here. I've had them since I was a boy, but coming here makes them... I remember them. I don't know how to put it, you know? The feeling, on a feeling level, not an intellectual level. This is uh, an ancient home I'm revisiting. The ever-vulcanized uh, mountaintop peak remnants of Lemuria. In my dreams, that's what my my inner reality says. But who knows the, the, the truth? <laughs> the truth is... Uh, we create the world in the shape of our thoughts, dreams, desires, and fantasies, and as we upgrade them, we create a better world. So that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. What about you guys? <laughs> I'm trying to learn as much as I can and soak it all in. Me too. Yeah. And I'm a baby. I love it. <laughs> so, do you think there's significance in us meeting each other? Of course. What do you think it is? Everything is synchronistic. Uh, I pray to meet my spirit family, so welcome home. You know, the people that we meet that we're pulled to with our, by our heart, they're significant people, pay attention, you know? All of us, we're learning to, we're all calling out on some level for our soul group. If we do it more consciously, it manifests every day, numerous times even. And, uh, but it never gets tiresome, we never get bored. It's God meeting God, God is meeting God, it's in all of them. So, my sense of for people that aren't familiar with that uh, term, what is a spirit, our soul group? <laughs> my sense of it through my filters is that it's uh, a group of compatible souls that can create bliss together by uh, linking in, in sacred ways, uh, creating temple environments, uh, ecologically efficient housing, you know, helping the earth, helping each other, any divine service in the ways that their soul leads them to. Healing, music, uh, hands-on work, massage, you know, uh, medical knowledge, wisdom, farming, all of it. Every, every aspect of humanity, you know, coming together, a community is all of us. Honoring all of us as equals feels like the best direction to go. Most people have been taught not to go there or to fear going there in, in some way. A fear-based reality is sort of what the outer world teaches. The inner world says you're already what you seek. You're already divine. Live up to it. Treat the others that way. Look for their divine spark and long to fan it into flames. You'll create heaven wherever you go. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Mm -hmm.